Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's a bad idea. <laughs> if you have me blocked in, I'm going to make a U-turn and a turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my name is James, I'm with HMD. I've been a driver, a local driver for a little bit over a year now. Actually, uh, April, May, a full year. Love the company, love everything about it. Uh, I'm driving local fleet. It's been pretty, pretty cool, pretty smooth. Other than dealing with the traffic, um, you know, here and there, especially if you gotta go downtown Chicago, it's crazy. But when you're a good driver, you know what to do. So you don't make any mistakes. You watch, you look, listen, and live. That's my motto. That's what I live by. That's what helps me out in this field of driving. Um, outside of driving, I'm an adventurous person. You know, pretty much like to do outdoor things. Bowling is one of those indoor things that I like to do. Um, I like to cook. I like to sing. So just pretty cool, laid back guy. Enjoy working. I come to work to work and that's how you get the job done. Okay. <laughs> hey, so today I'm gonna to take you on a uh, field trip with me. So put your seatbelts on, come along this journey, let's go for this ride. It's gonna be pretty fun. Um, we're going to Tootsie Roll over in Chicago to pick up a, a load and then taking it to Elwood, which is the NFI target. Um, so about an hour drive from there to, from destination to destination. Um, this is one of those things that happens for us local drivers. We typically pick up um, loads and take them somewhere so that the over the road drivers can pick them up and take them the extra mile of the way. So stay tuned, stay in touch, stay geared up, stay ready. Because either there's a there's another back entry, like the map will take you on the back entry, but I, I just came here from just knowing where it's at. So of course there goes a sign right there that says Tootsie Roll Shipping and Receiving. So we're arriving to our pickup destination, and typically you, you know, drive through. Follow the signs, of course. I always express that to people. You know, follow the signs. If you see them, read them. They're very important. And once you find the sign that tells you where to go, that's where you go. So we're looking for the shipping because we're picking up a load that's going to another destination. So we're looking for the shipping office. So typically, we drive around, find that area, we go in, check in with um, the shipping clerk, and from there. They'll give us a door and we'll um, dock and wait to be loaded. Um, so stay tuned, there's more. Uh oh, it's gonna work. He's got plenty of room on this side to get out. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. So I have to get my pickup number and everything. I have to call this number first, and then that's how we'll gain entry. Some places are different. Some places you just pull in, the guard generally, generally gives you the information. Um, they'll check you in, and then you just go to the door. Um, some places you have to come in, and you have to actually call. So go back to the truck where my phone is at, and I'll make this call so we can get access into the plant. First name is James, last name is Adams. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You're the best.
So I'm gonna be docking in door number 12, which is right here. It's pretty um, peculiar when backing into like these closed, enclosed spaces, because it's dark on the inside and it's light outside. So you have to pay close attention to what you're doing so you don't hit any of the pillars or damage anybody else's trailer or damage your own equipment as well. Um, so as you can see how dark it is on the inside and how light it is on the outside. So what happens is the light and darkness variation, it kind of plays with your peripheral vision. So you can easily get sidetracked and back into something if you don't pay attention. So I'm gonna open up my doors now. I'm gonna slide my tandems back. And then we're gonna back into dock 12. This is an empty trailer, of course, before it's um, filled. It's got great acoustics. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> you can, you really can. I've sung inside of one of the trailers before, just when I was by myself. It's a great sound. I should have recorded it. So this is the button, or the button, for the tandem. The tandem is these eight wheels here, um, they slide forward and back, mainly for weight distribution. Um, a lot of times the shipper or even the receiver wants you to have your tandems to the back because what happens is when you dock, the trailer, especially if the dock is on a decline, the trailer sits lower than the actual dock plate. So it makes it harder for the, um, the forklift trucks to drive in and out they use more power, so they want you to slide the tandems to the rear, which I'm gonna do once I jump inside. And then we're back into door 12. green light, red light. So uh, with this location, with this facility, um, they actually make you wait until the spotter comes and tells you that you're done. So I'm assuming even when the light turns red and they actually start loading, which you'll feel the trailer rocking back and forth, uh, which is a dead giveaway and indication that they're actually loading the trailer. Um, and then the light will go green after they're done. Most of the time, in most places, you would pull off and then go to the um, check-in to get your paperwork. But this facility, they want, to, want you to wait until they actually come and tell you that they're done. So, what do we wait? Um, typically, uh, scroll Facebook, TikTok, um, sleep. <laughs> There's time. Yeah, try to get a good little nod in um, or be on the phone typically well like now that it's getting warmer outside you know i'll take a walk um it's a little bit too hot outside today and we are in actually just like an open space some of the places like bolinbrook um joliet elwood um romeoville naperville they actually have like tree-lined um campuses or distribution centers i should say so you know you can find some shade but here uh it's like Hades. You don't want to go and sit in an open trailer because you probably bake inside of one of those things. It's like a big uh, oven, even though the doors are open. Um, I actually seen one guy fall asleep in the back of his trailer while we were waiting to get loaded, and he had passed out. He was unconscious, and we had and some uh, the security had to call the ambulance to. Um, recover him so I don't want to sit inside of a open trailer even when it's hot outside it's no ventilation 
So we gotta go inside and count the pallets for shipping. Um, I guess to verify the freight. He's already got eight pallets on the truck, so we'll go in and do a little math. Just make sure it's out. So now, so now the shipper has actually loaded the trailer, so I'm going to go ahead and close the doors and then um, slide my tendons back to the appropriate place and go inside and get my paperwork. They do have a weigh scale here. Um, it's not a legal weigh scale, but to give you an idea. Um, but because I know exactly where I'm going to, I know I won't pass any weigh stations, I can slide my tandems all the way up. It makes it a lot easier for maneuvering in the inner city, of course, which we have to drive through to get to the expressway. So um, normally, if I was going over the road, but thank God I'm a local driver, I would definitely have to stop and weigh and actually have those scale, um, scale readings on file along with the DOLs just in case you get DOT. DOT is um, Department of Transportation, which you can be inspected by a DOT officer or a state trooper, whatever state that may be in. So I'm gonna close my uh, doors on the trailer and head inside to get our paperwork. <laughs> we could drive through Englewood and say that all the candy got stolen. <laughs> Just put a big sign that says Tootsie Roll on the side of it. Should be uh, gone in 60 seconds like the movie. And I am referring to Inglewood, Chicago, not Inglewood, California. There he is. I mean, Inglewood, California is just as bad as Inglewood, Chicago. Uh, both places you get raped, robbed, and mugged probably all at the same time. Probably go to the police station and tell them that you got robbed and then they'll beat you, so. Like, you don't win either way. So we're gonna go back inside and see if we can get you a Tootsie Roll, <laughs> at least one if they got one laying around somewhere. So, now we're going to um, slide my tandems back. I got my paperwork, I'm gonna get in the truck and uh, input my paperwork, my BOLs, bill of lading and uh, we'll be ready for the road. So come along with me. <laughs> what is it? Who the hell would? I'm surprised. If I was in my regular truck, I would have my own seals and I would put a seal on the trailer because at some shippers, they kind of fuss at you if you come in without a seal, but they know the shipper, so I'm assuming they should know that this came without a seal. Now we are going to go in a circle. see the uh, Elotes people, the Mexican corn in the cup. You ever eat that? Yeah, I think I've had it. Oh, that's good. projects right here yeah well one of the Chicago projects um, this was called uh, what was this um, it was something gardens that they tore them down it's like a bunch of little roll houses
If I get hit, I won't drop the taco. I promise. <laughs> I can't feel my leg, but I still got the taco. So we have made it to our final destination. Doom, doom, doom. Not like the movie. Um, we are at NFI Logistics in Elmwood, El Elwood, Illinois. And we are waiting in line if the camera wants to pan that way to look at the other trucks. Um, so we get up to the guard shack over there. Once we get to the guard shack, we will hand them our trusty paperwork. And once we give them the paperwork, they're gonna stamp it, tell me where to park. At that point, I will drop my trailer, go inside, get my paperwork signed, and get an empty trailer so we can roll up out of here. We're gonna have me pull up and go to my trailer. So, um, pull up. You want, you want me to put it on? I'll put it on. Thank you so much. <laughs> Actually, I get out, put this seal on and check and see if that one's empty. Nope. I was wrong. It's, it's loaded. I'll take a box of these Tootsie Rolls before, before I seal it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to get back in and see if we can find a parking spot. So now I'm gonna go and hook up to that one first and then go and do my paperwork. Sometimes you gotta move pretty quick. Especially when you're doing trailer rodeo. It's a little warm while I got my trusty sweat rag. But usually I'll do this for exercise, so no matter where I park at, I'll hook up to my empty trailer if I find one. Then I'll just walk to the office. Because um, generally, once you hook up, you pull around to the other side and park over there. And then walk over to the office. But it's always a good day for a little exercise. And plus, I want people to think that I'm famous because I got my own little personal film crew. <laughs> After you. Although I am a local driver, I am in a uh, OTR truck on today, and I need to get fuel. And typically I have my trusty little fuel car for my other truck, but since I'm in a different truck, I have to go through a different procedure to get some fuel, some diesel fuel on today. So I have to fill out an EFS, uh, calm data check, so therefore we can get some fuel and make it to our next destination safely. And quite ironically, we pull into the fuel station and the um, fuel light went off. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, I hope it's been fun. Uh, this is the end of my day. Uh, we've been around the world and back. I really appreciate you guys for traveling with me. Uh, big up to my dispatcher, Alex D, and to my filmer, Katrina. <laughs> Katrina, I don't, it's spelled with a K, so I, I'm a little dyslexic. Uh, Katrina, it's been a pleasure. So I'm gonna unhook uh, truck 1217 and get my original truck back. And I'm gonna get up out of here. But I wanna tell you guys to stay encouraged, stay focused, stay driven, and always succeed in everything that you do. Be great, guys. Okay, this is my outro. You're not supposed to follow me. <laughs>